President Obama dismissing a lawsuit against Hillary Clinton over the deaths of two Americans in Benghazi. Parents of CIA operative Tyrone Woods and Officer Sean Smith filing the wrongful death suit, saying Clinton's private email server directly led to that terrorist attack. The judge ruling Clinton's use of her private email was within the scope of her employment. Charles Woods is the father of Navy SEAL Tyrone Woods. He joins us now. Sir, thank you for joining us, especially uh, on this Memorial Day weekend, which I know has powerful re uh, reticence for you. First of all, what, I know you think about your son on this weekend. What's, what's the thing you would want people to remember? Well, first of all, I would like to honor those people who have been willing to place their lives in jeopardy because of their love for our country. That's Absolutely. a great message. Well, so. well, and you also say you're not surprised by this ruling. Well, as you know, last summer a lawsuit was filed on behalf of Pat Smith and myself uh, alleging two things. One was defamation of character. Number two was uh, wrongful death of our sons, Sean Smith and Hoggins. Uh, last Friday, uh, no, it was not a surprise when an Obama-appointed judge dismissed the lawsuit. Uh, I was an administrative law judge, and if there was even the appearance of a conflict of interest, I would offer to withdraw from the case without the parties even asking me. Perhaps in this case, that's what should have been done. Here is a portion of that defamation ruling. I want to read it to you and get your response, sir. Secretary Clinton did not refer to plaintiffs as liars. Plaintiffs may find the candidate's statements in her own defense to be unpleasant or offensive. But Secretary Clinton did not portray plaintiffs as odious, infamous, or ridiculous. What do you think about that, well, sir? Well, <clears throat> as you recall, the question that was asked her was, someone is lying. Are you lying or are the families lying? She said, I am not lying. In other words, she was pointing the fingers at the families, saying that the families were liars. And <clears throat> just from a legal standpoint, Defamation is an issue of fact, which is to, to be decided by the jury. The judge decides issues of law. This should have been submitted to the jury in order to find this very important issue of fact. Charles, I know, like, like your son, you're a fighter. You want to keep, continue this fight and see justice done. Uh, what, what's the next step? Is there a next step in this process? Oh, yeah, of course. It's going to be appealed. And uh, as far as the wrongful death action, uh, as you know, the other cause of action was wrongful death, and top secret emails were released illegally in, on the server that was used by Hillary Clinton. These were hacked by foreign governments. Uh, in fact, as an example, an Iranian nuclear scientist was named in one of these hacked emails as being a double agent for the United States. He was killed as a result of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what happened here was that the emails <clears throat> that were hacked allowed the attack to be planned because uh, the location and the itinerary of the ambassador <clears throat> was made known in advance. Therefore, they planned the attack in yeah. advance, which led to the death, the wrongful death of my son mm -hmm. and of Sean Smith. Well, Charles, you are standing in front of a beautiful oil painting. Talk to us about that and how you're remembering your son this weekend. Well, yes, this painting behind me, um, it actually brings tears to my eyes. It was done by a retired Navy SEAL who obviously was a very accomplished artist. Wow. And uh, yeah, this is one of the, the things that on Memorial Day, it means much, much more when you have lost a family member and uh, I am so grateful to our nation and I am so grateful to those that preceded Ty who were and are American heroes and hopefully Ty's life and his sacrifice will be something that motivates others to be American heroes whether it's in the military or whatever they do with well, their lives. We're going to need those uh, going forward. We are so grateful for the service of your son, the other men at Benghazi, all those who serve, and for your courage to keep the fight uh, this morning and, and ongoing. Charles Woods, thank you very much. So good to have you with us and this morning. And 3.30 in the morning there in Kona, Hawaii. Thank That's you, Charles. Thank, thank you. And what a beautiful...